Hi, my name is Frank Saline. I'm the CEO and founder of Third Level Consulting. And today's webinar has to do with the TechSmart success steps, the cloud technology tools that can make it successful in today's environment. For more information on this, you can visit our website at thirdlevelconsulting.com. But let's talk about your business. The main pain points today have to do with marketing, people, technology, money, and risk, certainly decreasing risk and the associated stress, and increasing the ROI on our marketing efforts, our HR systems, our technologies, and our financial investments. So today, there are at least eight steps along the TechSmart success uh, formula, starting off with your technology manager or technology team, the way your company files and organization is set up, and the apps that you use, 3, 4, and 5 here on the steps, your CRM, the Customer Relationship Database, your business dashboards, I'll talk to you more about that in a moment, and your curriculum and teacher training, among other apps. And then, of course, a technology map to try to coordinate all of your cloud computing so you can keep score of where you are. And then if that morphs over to your office management team and the office IT connection, as we put it. So another way to say this is that there's maybe four steps here with your CRM in one, your staff training in two, this integrated business dashboards and services to coordinate your management, marketing, HR, finance facilities, and risk, among other items, and of course, your financial and other operating document platforms so that you can collaborate easy, easier with other people. When you design your cloud computer technology hub, so to speak, there's many parts to this. There's your calendar and communications, your domains and website hosting, your key knowledge databases, the financials, the project tools, and marketing and media tools. I'm not going to read you slides on when suits your suit your intelligence, but your calendars and communications offer a wide array of suites to keep your business organized and to keep your own yourself organized, your own personal organization is critical, of course. So these are just some expanded versions of that. And then, of course, going into the domains and site hosting and email servers, a lot of things that you could use there. Uh, in today's world, it's interesting because the websites were once um, uh, basically the property, so to speak, of the webmasters because it was arcane HTML programming. And then it got to the point and clicks of the network solutions, the GoDaddies, and then and now it's back to the wave of you need to have sophisticated website designers so that you can stand out and away from the crowd a little bit. So that, of course, they are mobile in terms of navigation. They tell stories and uh, have animations. They have good illustrations, and the design, uh, the designs have to do with bigger and bolder typography with uh, validation, co-creation, and authority, as they call it. And there's a few other things here in terms of what you think your customers want as opposed to what, what they actually want, what they say they want, as opposed to what you are providing them. And you can look at this whole chain of um, what they call authority, and it'll teach you a lot, I think. Your key knowledge databases are the same things we looked at before, the uh, CRM, the business solutions, and the e-learning, and the risk management. Uh, in the, excuse me, in the, the rules, we've got a few, uh, changing the rules with these business apps, you'll see a few URLs here, and I'll look at each one of them individually for you. There is a, a tool called the Success Solutions Dashboard, which is free at the light version. And then if you're a client of third levels, the pro versions get turned on for the business owner or administrator, as well as the office manager and program manager. They're amazing tools, which basically link uh, the KPIs for each area into self-rating on an international scale, and then into action items, long and short-term action items to keep accountability and everybody speaking the same language. And those action items, long and short-term, become evergreen. And as they're checked off, they're archived and uh, into a success log. It's pretty cool. And those dashboards, like say for the busy professional, these are the eight areas that you're thinking about. Your dashboard has nine areas. I'm just showing three here. And it's the same thing for the busy program manager, whose nucleus is something a little different. And their, their dashboard has nine areas as well, uh, and we're seeing the first three. The same thing with your office managers, who are often very hardworking but under-recognized, uh, putting up with lots of customer and staff and um, outside service providers. Um, <laughs> 
interaction, shall we say, uh, but they have their own too, and their dashboard also has nine items and nine areas. So what you'll find is uh, all of these resources we've now wrapped together in what we call the Smart Edge dashboards, which is integrated business apps. I'm going to show you a couple of screenshots. There's eight different parts to this, but if I was to show you the Finance Smart Steps to Success, you would see on here that every level, every level of these one through eight are hyperlinked. If you're trying to research industry percentages or payroll or pricing or membership value strategies or whatever, it's all there. Everything in our best practices library or the main documents are there when you simply click on them. You can get to your success solutions dashboard by simply clicking on the performance dashboard. You can get to all the resources in the Best Practices Library by clicking the Best Practices Library. The rest of the courses and webinars and catalog are there, as well as specialized financial services on the bottom, whether it's financial analysis, expansion planning, or valuation planning. Same thing for facilities. You'd be able to see that uh, in facilities, we've again got eight steps to success. On the right side, again, the performance dashboard, the more in-depth best practices library, the catalog of courses and webinars. And on the bottom, you see that Risk Assure Solutions, for example, which is included with our client uh, benefits upon membership, or if you want expansion planning or equipment inspection, those things are available. And of course, another uh, great piece of software for the um, uh, for teacher training, curriculum planning, student skill monitoring is the Smart Move system, uh, gymnastics, cheerleading, swimming, dance, etc. In applications for risk management, Risk Assure Solutions is the standard for the industry now, providing a number of benefits that I don't have to read to you, but equipment inspections and maintenance records and incident logging in and tracking and uh, a whole knowledge database for risk management and a very advanced reporting as well. So when we start looking at this, the financial terms and the financial records online, whether you use online or not, uh, is kind of a, a point that's up to you. And then we're also looking at other client or project tools. We use several things like Alterix, Demographics, um, Odesk Project Outsourcing, uh, LoopNet for Properties, Swift Estimator for Construction Projects. These things change over time, of course. In any case, the end results of using technologies in an integrated way is obviously more effective people, more efficient business, more profitable business, and less risk and stress. So that's just a quick look at designing your and tracking your technology hub and going all the way back here to our TechSmart Steps to Success, that kind of sums up what we're trying to do in today's environment. Will this be different next year? Yes. Will things be easier and more accessible? Yes. We can always look to be more profitable, more efficient, and decrease our risk and stress. This is Frank Saline. Thanks for joining me.